it's so good to see you. Uh, I can't hear the audience. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> and I won't hear you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wish I was dancing and singing songs with the band. But you know what? This is the best, the next best thing. So uh, love you all and thank you for joining me. This is great. <laughs> all right. So I should be answering questions, which I never do, but this time I will do it. So here we go. Shall we start with the questioning? Now, let me see. Woohoo! Hi, everyone. Yes, I can see all your... Uh, by the way, you, yeah, type, type away because I can see your reactions. I can't answer you, but, you know... Uh, I can see your, your reactions. So lovely to see you too, all of you. Uh, Andrea, Jane, uh, Hiba, 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 Samandriel, LOL, LOL, woohoo, Jessica Rabbit. Okay, I'm going to answer questions, otherwise I'm going to be scolded, I guess. Um, here we go. Teresa De Piero, what has been your favorite character that you've played so far? Uh, oh my God, well, there are so many characters. Uh, uh, I really loved, you know, playing Balthazar, of course, on Supernatural and Michael Michelson on uh, The Vampire Diaries and the Originals. Um, I mean, I really also loved playing uh, Martin Hoisman in The Man in the High Castle, not as well known, but I had a, a ball on that. Uh, yeah, that that's, you know, the, you know, but, you know, of course, Balthazar and Michael Michelson. Boy, hello, darlings. I'll just give you a little taste of that. Okay. Uh, Rike98. Hi, Rike98. Which Chelsea player would survive in Supernatural and the Originals? Which Chelsea? I think an ex Chelsea player would be Diego Costa because he's, he's a tough, he's a tough mofo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, Alicia Barr. Alicia, what a beautiful name. Uh, my wife's name is Alicia, even though I call her Ali. From any of the jobs you've had, what was the hardest scene to shoot and why? Ah, I, actually, a really hard scene to shoot was, uh, <laughs> it was actually both last scenes on shows that I was killed off of, because I get killed off of every fucking show. Oh, sorry, every effing show. Can you beat me on this? No, can you? Uh, no, I can't hear anyone. Uh, nobody can beat me. That's a pity. Sorry for anyone who's, uh, uh, you know, who can't listen to swear words. Uh, I can see your messages. Yes. Tons of messages. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Hey, hey, everyone. And oh, my God, so many, so many people. Hello from Denmark. You're awesome in every role. <laughs> I agree with that. Um, uh, <laughs> Judith Novotnik. Okay, it's working now, but it might be delayed. Uh, sorry, Judy. Uh, yeah, okay. I can die in peace now. Oh, yes, Hiba. Don't die, please. Uh, okay. Now, um, yes, I didn't finish the answer to... Alicia. So I would say that the death scene of Balthazar, because I knew I was going to be unemployed after that. <laughs> and the death scene of Michael Michelson for the same reason. And also it was a very emotional scene. And I was really, you know, in both cases, sad to be off the show. All right, here we go. Amy Bolla, or Boya, sorry if I'm mispronounced. Was Balthazar as much fun to inhabit as he was to watch? Do you see any of yourself in him? Or was he a complete separate entity? No, I mean, Balthazar was very much, uh, it was a lot of myself. Uh, uh, basically, when I walked in, uh, uh, the costume designer looked at what I was wearing, was like, can we basically get everything that you're wearing? Uh, so he was very close to me in terms of uh, sense of humor and, and naughtiness. Uh, so yeah, it was fun. It was a really fun role to play. Now, uh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, Effulgent. That's an interesting name. <laughs> Come here, Effulgent. Effulgent, you play villains very well. What heroic role would you play if you could play any and why? Oh, I would love to play... I would love to play a sort of historic medieval role, like uh, Charles Martel in 1515 defeated... Uh, uh, who did he defeat? The Saracens, I think, that came all the way to France. Uh, you know, I love uh, period pieces... So I think that that would be it, you know, something or, 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 or King Arthur. Actually, King Arthur would be, I think, the one I, I've always been fascinated in playing. So that one would be it. Sam Winchester's hair, which I'm trying to emulate. My hair's getting so long. Uh, Sam Winchester's hair, that's funny. <laughs> Jared Padalecki. Jared Padalecki. 
that's from the French mistake, right? Do you remember Jared Padalecki? Uh, what's the weirdest food you actually enjoy that most people don't? Uh, the weirdest, I wouldn't call it the weirdest food. It's amazing that I'm answering questions here, isn't it? Um, it, it, it's not the weirdest food, but but I love kimchi. I don't know if people uh, know kimchi. Kimchi is sort of a uh, is cabbage that is uh, uh, fermented, and I really love it. I love Korean food, uh, so uh, it's not really a weird food. I mean, I've, I've tried crickets; it's very good. Uh, you know, I'd say American food's the weirdest food I've tried. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for you, Americans. Um, okay. Thank you, Sam, with just as hair. Joanne, two, two, 2166. How are you, Joanne? Uh, do you keep in touch with any of your former General Hospital cast? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, Nancy Lee Grant's a friend. So I, I, I do keep in touch with her. Now, who knows? One day maybe we'll work again together. We, we had a good duo there, I think. Gaylid uh, Eat. So maybe you're Italian, Gaelid or Gaeld. Do you like horror movies? If so, which is your favorite? Ah, horror movies. Yes, I really, uh, I really do enjoy horror movies. So sorry, someone texted me. Um, hi, Sebastian. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry, I'm looking. I do like horror movies. My favorite. I really like very smart horror movies. Uh, I think that one. Oh, God, there are so many. I remember when The Ring came out, uh, the Gore Verbinski version. It was really, really fantastic. Uh, oh my God, there are so many uh, that are so good. Um, God, I, I have to write my brain. I mean, Psycho by Hitchcock was, you know, kind of the uh, the origin of horror movies. Totally brilliant movie, amazingly shot. He basically influenced world cinema after that. Uh, okay, Wayward Cat. Oh, I know you. I think we, we, we talk a lot on Twitter. How are you, Wayward Cat? What do you miss the most about traveling? Uh, well, you know, everything, the people, uh, the food, um, you know, traveling is, is a window into, into another culture. And I think actually that if more people traveled, we wouldn't have as much division. Uh, you know, and I sh actually, I think if a country took care of its people, more in terms of healthcare and, and giving them paid leave, etc. People would travel more and there would be less division and hatred and racism. So I think traveling is one of the most important things. So that's what I miss about traveling, that beautiful window on the world and seeing how, how wonderful uh, other cultures are, uh, you know, of all colors, of all languages, of all creed. That's what I miss about traveling, and, and I'm a big traveler, so I miss that a lot. We, my wife and I miss that a lot. Your Instagram is a delight. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. What was your favorite? Hello, everyone. I'll, I'll say uh, hey to, to everyone. Ah, j'aime ton accent. Merci beaucoup, Judith Novotnik. Okay, uh, Judy Ann, have you taken on any new hobbies or learned anything new during quarantine? Um, I haven't taken on new hobbies. I've trained, I continue training, uh, for rock climbing, you know, finger training, uh, weight training. And I've started, uh, um, kickboxing a little bit more. I have a bag, so I use that, uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, I've started learning Korean too, which is really wonderful. I love languages. So th this is what I've taken up during quarantine. And I love Korean because I love, uh, K dramas. I love Korean TV series. If you want to watch something extraordinary, watch My Mister on Netflix, When the Camellia Blooms, and It's Okay Not to Be Okay. But My Mister is the best TV series I've ever seen, period. Okay, thanks, uh, Joanna22. Hello, Joanna. Hi, Sebastian, college student here, majoring in languages. Do you have any tips for learning French? Oh, my God, yes. I mean, the, the tip would be to watch as many... Uh, TV programs in French as you can, and you can find them on YouTube and movies in French with the subtitles. And then you can sort of familiarize yourself to the language. Of course, the best thing is to go on Preply, which is not that expensive and find someone who you can have a conversation with. I'm learning Korean on Preply. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting any money from Preply. I think it's spelled P-R-E-P-L-Y. And uh, yeah, that's what I would do. But you know, being in the country and speaking with someone is the best thing. But Preply uh, can can let you do that. You don't need to to learn the alphabet or anything. You you can just have conversation with someone. God, this lighting is terrible. 
terrible for my lines. But anyway, who cares? <coughs> who cares about that anyway? All right, Slaneva. Slaneva or Swaneva, I don't know. Hi there, Sebastian. I loved Odyssey 5 so much. Any recollections on that show to share with us? I love that show too. It was great to work with my, actually my wonderful friend, Christopher Gorham, who I'm still friends with. Uh, who works a lot? Peter Weller, what a what a character! What a wonderful guy! Uh, you know, uh, yeah, it was a really really great show, very smart show that was very prescient actually as to what's happening right now with artificial intelligence and and uh, you know etc. So yeah, music nerd, it's good to be a music nerd because I am a music nerd. I love music. All right, have you read? Sorry, I got to open my V neck for all the supernatural fans out there. <laughs> I'm sure you're laughing your heads off. Okay, um, Okay. Uh, have you read any books that you would like to be an ad- adaptation of? I read Pachinko uh, by Ming Jin Lee, uh, an extraordinary uh, Korean novel. Um, and I, it is being turned into a miniseries by Netflix. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. I can't wait to see it. And Imino, the Lee Min Ho, or Min Ho Lee, as you say in Europe, uh, is the star of it, and he's an extraordinary actor. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Kuzima Dork, you play so many bad guy characters. Do people ever just assume you're a jerk? Yes, they do. Some, I've, I've, you know, I've had people be afraid of approaching me on the street because, well, now of course now they can't really approach me on the street because I'm masked because I like to wear a mask because you know wearing a mask saves people. It's science. It's not. It's not bullshit. Okay, so I wear a mask so nobody can really see me um, in public places. But people do get uh, scared of me as they approach me. They think I'm Michael Michelson. Uh, but usually, uh, 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 no, people people don't assume I'm a joke. Um, okay, now, M.L. Madison, who's funnier together? Joseph and Daniel or Paul and Ian? <laughs> oh, my God, Joseph and Daniel. Sorry, Paul and Ian, love you guys. But Joe, Joseph and Daniel uh, are probably the funniest people together very very funny people uh, uh great senses of humor <laughs> and you laugh your head off with them uh on set and and they just basically yeah try to get at each other and it's, it's fun it's always fun kelly r what was the best piece of advice that you've received you've ever received um love yourself most important thing that you must loving yourself because if you start loving yourself then a lot of problems are solved. So I would say that, loving yourself. Castiel stole my soul. Yeah, he did too, except he killed me. Uh, favorite movie. Hi, my love. My love is right here. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? <laughs> Ali says hello. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. She's so pretty. I can't. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Castiel stole my soul. So. Yeah. Favorite movie? Oh, difficult. Many, many favorite movies. Uh, uh, you know, lately, uh, uh, I actually love this uh, Argentinian movie called um, Oh my God, uh, uh, see, uh, The Secret in Their Eyes. Uh, extraordinary film. What, what else have we seen that's fantastic? Uh, Parasite, I think, is one of the best movies I've ever seen. The Korean film, incredible. Gab. B. Rob, what would your favorite mu- musical instrument to listen to? Uh, guitar and piano. And cello, too. Classical cello. Uh, Sam Winchester's hair, again. Wow. Or maybe it's another. He has many, many hairdos. No, actually, he only has one hairdo. It's the, the floppy one. <laughs> okay. Are there any strange hobbies you've got, gotten into over quarantine? Watching K drama. That's all we do. And it's amazing. Eber, hi Sebastian. In 2018, you played Tartuffe in London. Yes, I did. How did that happen? And what did you think of playing such an iconic character? It happened, uh, actually, a director friend of mine recommended me to the director. He, and the director happened to be a huge fan of The Man in the High Castle. And he thought, wow, this guy is completely... And then we had a talk and he wanted to see if I was completely bilingual because it was a bilingual production in French and English. We talked, I was 100, 1,000% in. He heard how enthusiastic I was. And I, we were hiking in the Santa Monica Mountains and I got the part, I remember. And I cried because I, I, it was a dream for me to, to, to do a play on the West End and such a beautiful classical play, Tartuffe by Molière, was, was, yeah, 
So it was extraordinary to do that. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Snips92. Hi, Snips92. Is there a sentence in non-English you love to say due to the sound of it? Putain, fait chier. <laughs> Yeah, the French people will know what that means. It, it means like fucking hell. <laughs> That's also what I, I love. I love saying that too. You know, merde, putain, fichier. So it's it's kind of you know fucking hell. Uh, Amy Boya again. Oh wow, any interesting stories from the set of Fringe? Love that show. Uh, yeah, I mean it was really wonderful. Joshua Jackson, top notch guy. Uh, I remember once we he invited us all to a, a picnic, and I think we played football the real football not the one that you throw with your hand you know english football soccer uh yeah that was that was really fun judith novotnik which director do you want to work with uh i would love to work with bong juno the director of parasite uh i would love to work with paul thomas anderson uh this french director called jacques Audiard. uh, uh there's this extraordinary television uh, korean television uh, director uh What's his name, Ali? Kibon Sok, who's extraordinary. What's that? Yeah, Kim Won Sok, incredible director. Uh, many others. There's so many talented directors out there. Uh, yeah, so th that, that's about it. Oh, yes, it's amazing to see you in. Sorry, I'm looking at the Alicia Bar. Again, Alicia, what's your favorite quote from a character you've played? What's the most quoted back to you? Uh, awkward. <laughs> Or, uh, what is it? Uh, and I, no, I think the most quoted back to me was, and I care about that because, because it became a GIF and I actually use it as a GIF when, uh, when I can't be bothered about a piece of news, like, you know, anything by the Kardashians is, uh, totally irrelevant to, uh, our society. So I always put, and I care about that because that's how I would answer. Uh, Gab Rob, what animal would you like to spend a day as and why? I'd like to spend a day as my dog, Ziggy, because she has the best fucking life. Fucking hell. Oh, sorry, pardon my French. Uh, yeah, I'd like to be Ziggy, right, Ziggy? Because she has the best life. <laughs> I mean, come on. She eats all our food. Uh, she goes on walks and runs. Oh, I shouldn't say the W word. Uh, you with, with, with doggies, you know what it's like. Okay, um, Dana Dyson. What kind of supernatural creature would Jerry Jacks be? Oh, I have no idea. An angel with beautiful wings and uh, and a leather ensemble. How about that? That sounds good. Beautiful wings. And I would fly really fast and appear. Well, actually, that's what we do anyway. Uh, you know, with a glass of martini in one hand. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Lu Luel, Luel Agrel... 23 if you could do hi there lul lul if you could go to any time period in history where would it be and why oh, i'm fascinated by medieval times uh dark ages um oh my god uh, periods in history 18th century maybe 16th century uh for or you know uh, on the corners you know between 16th and 17th began that period of shakespeare so many god so many how is it working on last just a little noise hi just a little noise how's it working on last of the mohicans uh yes yes uh it was amazing unfortunately i kind of you can hear my voice but i ended up on the cutting room floor but i spent I think at least nine weeks shooting in North Carolina in Asheville. Asheville, North Carolina, next to Highway 40. I don't think it's next to Highway 40. But it was such a beautiful experience. And it was really wonderful uh, because uh, there were many uh, Native Americans who came to shoot on the movie. And I met, you know, Dennis Banks and Russell Means and all these these incredible leaders of the Native American movement. And, and wonderful people I met there. Uh, uh, who were from different tribes and, and it was really wonderful to, to, to meet all these, these, these incredible cultures. Uh, you know, it made you think about that, the, the great history and the, the, the sad history of native Americans in the country and how uh, the huge genocide of, so anyway, that was, that was a, an extraordinary experience to me and working with Michael Mann and, and Daniel Day Lewis, I mean, it was just, you know, a prince and, you know, one of the greatest actors. I've, I've ever worked with so amazing amazing rx and mcgregor rx mcgregor 
Any advice for young playwrights going into the field? Yes, just write as much as you can. Um, you know, try to contact actors to do readings, you know, uh, of your plays. Go to acting schools. Uh, because you never know what you know which actor is going to become famous and you know you, you can have start having a relationship with an actor you find is wonderful uh try and put it out there try and do live streams put it out there on on, on youtube on zoom uh, of your work read 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 the great classics read the great classics also the modern classics you know the pinters of this world the the samuel beckett's of this world uh, uh, you know, the, the, you know, read, read, read. Uh, yeah, yeah. And go to the theater. I know it's hard at the moment, but you know, that's what I would do. Uh, thank you. Uh, Eba, you say you love languages. Do you know any Gaelic or Swedish? Ah, Svenska, I know. Uh, of course, you know, of course, who wouldn't know that? And in Gaelic, oh my God, I should, uh, uh, I should know some Gaelic and I, yeah I mean that's something I should do because I am half Scottish and I should know a little bit of Gaelic, Gaelic. oh yeah yeah uh, Ali knows Sinead O'Connor lyrics in Gaelic Irish Gaelic yes but I would yeah yeah and Swedish I know also a really bad word in Swedish but I'm not going to say because uh, it's really nasty Spitting.